Well, it's a first for Long Island Hospital. A multi state swap of donated kidneys. It's helped transform three lives in three states, and it all began last Tuesday in Suffolk County. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose explains. Tom Dans and his wife Angela are able to greet and thank their doctors just days after both underwent kidney surgery in a most remarkable way. Two years ago, both of Angela's kidneys had to be removed due to spreading tumors. Her husband Tom immediately stepped forward to offer one of his own. We were hit with some news that we were in a, a match, which was devastating for both of us. The couple's daughter was among friends and family who also volunteered, but were also not a match. Even though we got a denial of results, there was always that hope that. That someone else is in the system. Staff at the Stony Brook Kidney Center found that hope by searching the National Organ Donor Registry. Last week, using couriers and airplanes, they sent Tom Dance's kidney to a recipient in St. Louis whose non matching donor's kidney was then sent to a matching recipient in Minnesota. The Minnesotan also had a non matching donor, but their kidney was exactly the right fit for Angela Dance. And for the first time in years, Angela is now able to use the bathroom instead of a dialysis machine. I have a granddaughter who's 20. 21 months old, I think we're potty trading together. Not only Angela um, got this whole new lease on life, but there are two other patients out there that did as well. She's only six days out from surgery. She went home on day four with normal kidney function. Tom Dan says he feels just fine with his remaining kidney. Angela can finally eat normal foods again. I've been truly blessed. Um, it's a miracle. I've been waiting a long time for this to happen. Well enough to do some traveling and perhaps one day meet the still anonymous donors who, along with her husband, gave Angela her life back. In Suffolk County, Richard Rose, TV 1055. 123,000 Americans are on organ donor waiting lists, and every day 18 needy recipients die before they can be matched to a donor.